Good morning. Had a rough night. I'm still tired. Had a rough night's sleep. Had a rough night's sleep. I'm still tired. But I have to get up because I gotta start my day. You guys are going with me today. Documentation time. As soon as I wake up, I'm gonna have some coffee. <sighs> Good morning, beautiful people. I am here today, yes, yes, yes. I promised you that I would pretty much show you a healthy recipe. So I'm gonna be doing some grocery shopping today so that I can, and I'm gonna take you along with me and so that I can get some stuff to make one of my favorite recipes and it's gonna be pretty healthy. So I wanna do that. And today I'm also gonna be organizing. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to all of that today with you, but I will try. I'm gonna be organizing this area Yes, underneath my sink. It looks terrible. So yes, I'm going to be taking care of this and I'm going to be <clears throat> making sure that I um, get it all organized. But uh, anyway, so I just wanted to touch bases with you guys today. And before I really get started with that, I'm going to get some coffee. Yes, I am. I think I have a... Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I just put some baking soda on my bed today. So I was kind of looking at that. You know, you got to make sure that that, that you, you know, do that every now and then. But it smells good in here, though. I can tell you that much. All right, guys. Anyway, so I'm going to go downstairs and get some coffee. And then um, I am going to go to the store, um, like I said, and... And I did do my exercise today, and I just wanted to say I am back up to my 45-minute rides. Yes! I'm super stoked about that because it's hard to get up to that level. You have to work up to that. So, and I'm feeling good, and I'm feeling excellent. So, all right, guys, we're going to get us started. Yay! Woo-hoo! All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a grocery haul here. I got uh, myself a watermelon. Everything that you see here is organic. So I don't mess around when it comes to my produce and things like that. So what I have here is an organic seedless watermelon, which I know it's gonna be sweet because of what I see on the outside of it. So I can't wait to cut that open. I got some organic red grapes. I got some um, organic black garlic, which, you know, it's a lot of people wants to know what's the difference and, and pretty much, there we go, there we focus, some organic black garlic. And so a lot of people want to know what's the difference. Um, it's expensive. This is a little bit more potent than regular garlic and it's very good. So if you like garlic, you'll like that. And then I have some organic artisan corn tortillas. I always make sure that those are organic because of issues. And I got some pecans. These pecans are going to go in my granola and as well as the sunflower seeds. And these are organic pecans. These are organic sunflower seeds and organic dried cranberries, which are also going to go into my granola. And then I have some 
beautiful strawberries. Look at those. Oh my gosh. And of course, you know those are organic. Those, I'm going to be cutting those up and putting them into mason jars. So, just in case you didn't know, did you know that if you wash your strawberries off, whether you cut them up or not, or whatever, and you put them inside of a mason jar, they last forever. Because I get organic strawberries, they go bad very quickly within like three days. And so I usually just put them, and if I'm gonna make smoothies, I'll take some and I'll freeze them. And then I'll also take some and put them in a mason jar and seal them up so that way they can last. They last for way over a week, almost dang darn near two weeks when you put them in a mason jar. So that's just a little tip there that I've learned over the years. And then I have some organic blueberries here. here. And then I have some limes. Um, those are going to be going on top of the tacos that I'm going to be making as well as these radishes. And then I had to get myself a nectarine. I haven't had a nectarine in a long time and this one looked like a really good one. So um, you can tell by these markings here on it that it's going to be pretty sweet and juicy. Um, and then I have myself some goat cheese because I don't can't eat regular cheese. So I got some goat cheese there. You can see that this is what I get and this is pretty good and it's goat and sheep's cheese is awesome. And then I got some cilantro, some cherry tomatoes, um, a red onion, and some lettuce for the tacos. And then because I can't drink regular milk and I can't drink the oat milk anymore, which was um, Oatly oat milk, because the Oatly oat milk caused a lot of bloating, a lot of bloating, and it was horrible. So now I went back to drinking my goat milk, which works fine because this is the closest thing to human milk. So, and it's easy, digestible, it doesn't cause any problems for me or anything. And I also make my lattes with this. So that's what I got. That is my grocery haul there. And I do shop at a store called the um, Sacramento Co-op here in Sacramento. And this is, and they have organic produce and things like that and this is where I go to get my produce alrighty so um, I am going to get started here I think I got let me see now yeah, see my um, pumpkin seeds are ready I toast my own pumpkin seeds I already had these and so I toasted them so that you know I can get that I like that sound that they make oh gosh it's just so cool anyway I toast my pumpkin seeds because these go into my granola um, and they're so good and they're organic pumpkin seeds and um, pumpkin seeds are known for their zinc and so everybody could use a little zinc in their diet um, especially good for men so there you go alrighty guys so um, I will show you what I'm going to be doing and how I make my um, organic tacos oh and I got some chicken breast too um, I wonder what I do with the oh it's over here sorry then I also got some chicken breast here um, by this company. It's um, pretty good chicken breast. And usually I get my chicken breast from Trader Joe's, but because I needed to get all of this kind of produce, because um, Trader Joe's is great, don't get me wrong, it just doesn't carry the produce that I eat, which is organic, because, you know, I just, I'm more into the non-pesticide um, vegetables than anything else. So, but these, this is the chicken for today and I usually get some like I said from Trader Joe's they're in the freezer though so um, they're frozen and I really didn't I forgot to just throw them out so I just got a pack so all right guys okay guys I pretty much got my stuff ready I got a little bit of a shadow here um, for my tacos tonight I'm just gonna go ahead and start roasting my chicken uh, chicken breast and in case you guys are wondering what black garlic looks like this is what it looks like it is the best thing for you the best source I mean I can educate you on black garlic but that would take a little while but it has health benefits unbelievable health benefits I can't even begin begin to help well I'll just name a few um, it helps against viruses bacteria funguses um, and other unfriendly pathogens it
so this is empty now these are all the products it doesn't look like a whole lot but it is a lot um, so those are the products that I'm going to be putting back some of them not all of them um, back in underneath here and it's going to look a lot cleaner and a lot neater and then I have some of these these are like organizers type deal things that I might be using to put individual stuff in so it just depends okay guys here we go down here I have everything organized and stuff and I've thrown out quite a bit of stuff so but that is done I am so happy it looks so good now I can find stuff <laughs> all right guys I am going to be moving on to my drawers and that is going to be done in another video because that is super disorganized I have four of them and I need to get them back organized so anyway guys thank you for watching and Take care, and I hope you have a wonderful day, week, month, or whatever it may be. All right, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. So I am technically done with um, my bathroom. I, um, sorry, I, uh, full disclosure, I didn't start my bathroom until today. And um, because there were some things that had happened and went on, so I didn't, I wasn't able to finish the video. But you still get to see the healthy recipes and things like that. And I do greatly appreciate you guys watching and everything like that. I still got a lot of organization. Plus, um, there's some new life changes that are coming up soon here. And I just wanted to disclose that. It is, a, I'm sorry, my skin is a little oily because I do have oily skin. And I don't like to put, you know, stuff on there to clog up my pores or put um to prevent the oils from um being disclosed because it does kind of hurt your face in the long run or your skin i should say in the long run but anyway just enough of that i am going to be um, organizing quite a few things so i want you to organize with me and i'm going to be getting rid of quite a few things so um, i'm super stoked and super happy about my new life changes that are coming up and I will be keeping you guys informed. All right, guys, thanks for watching and peace.